So, welcome back friends. Up till last, we talked about how things are working in terms of integrated marketing communication. There are some definitional aspects which we tried to look into. There are elements of integrated marketing communication which we looked into broadly and we looked into the purpose of integrated marketing communication as such. I would not go into the complete recap, it is not been long. So, now we would be focusing upon two elements, those are related to trend and how trend can be influenced or can be capitalized upon that is design thinking. So, let us talk about the trend of integrated marketing communication or let us say emerging trend of integrated marketing communication. But first of all, let us try to wonder on that does communication have a trend at all? Communication basically wherein there is a message for the receiver and logically it should solve the purpose of the sender as well as the receiver. So, so uh, broadly we will uh, you know uh, talk about this thing in, in, in such lines, but uh, and at, we will be elaborating all those elements uh, later on as well. But, but let us follow on what is happening around these days. So, emerging trends what is going on and design thinking I think it has something to do with integrated marketing communication as well. So, I will be focusing on design thinking which we have talked about in other subjects as well and, and uh, you are broadly aware of, but I will be introducing this uh, element a little bit. You see you must have heard of these terms branded entertainment, very exciting you, you must have uh, heard this, you must have read this in newspapers that some organization is focusing upon branded entertainment. Influencer marketing, acupuncture marketing is also a term which is being used by many people now and mobile marketing which has become the part of our lives altogether. I do not think any one of you is away from this largely and especially those who are listening to me right now. There are many people who are yet they say have to be influenced by this tool, but, but largely whole of the world is influenced by this. Internet marketing definitely mobile marketing, internet marketing can now also be used as you know words which can be interchanged. And let us go on and on and then see you know there are several other terms which have evolved in due course of time and which are continuously evolving. But what, what does that mean? You know this means two things largely. One, marketing is deeply associated with communication means you see when you say branded entertainment, when you, see, when you say influencer marketing, when you say you know mobile marketing, do you imply that mobile is actually enabling the marketing or, or it is mobile marketing basically. You see they are so meshed up, they are so associated with each other, you do not differentiate marketing with uh, marketing from communication at this moment. And, and uh, largely when, when you say that you know uh, people commonly say when they, they look at an advertisement or look at uh, a message, they say this is marketing. So, marketing is so uh, associated, I would not say dependent, I am refraining this word uh, you know to be used here because uh, I am a scholar of marketing and I understand that dependence is, is entirely a different thing basically. But in a common man's parlance, it definitely seems to be dependent upon communication. So, marketing gels with wherever uh, you know a particular kind of a communication is there. So, so first thing is marketing is largely communication as of now when we are talking in terms of integrated marketing communication and then effort and mode definitely gets the attention. Mode mobile for example. So, usage of mobile gets the attention of the marketers because you are using it, marketers have to reach there. And then 
efforts from both the sides you want to seek something i'll be talking about this and marketer definitely puts in all the efforts and energy to capitalize upon these kind of things so these enablers they keep on coming technology it puts on in front of us and marketer wants to reach you and that is where mode gets the attention so i'll not be uh, deciphering all the terms which are being uh, you know used with marketing uh, this these are easily accessible there are several sources authentic sources which are there on internet i would definitely suggest you to go to google and uh, or other search engines and uh, then as i told you last time also american uh, marketing association they have a website you you can use their lexicon you can use their sources they there is a huge repository wherein you will find several kinds of terminologies and those things to be uh, used for your purpose so you will find several things there and and uh, they are well defined so and and we are open to all the questions you may have regarding that but but uh diverging much deeper into this might not be uh, healthy for this kind of a subject to be focused upon so now this is where you know if if you look at it broadly the emerging trends impacting on marketers and market in the 21st century so so globalization definitely has influenced integrated marketing communication why we should not be talking about it anymore basically because because today sitting anywhere you watch any advertisement any message anything from anywhere so the connectivity is definitely a resultant of globalization or or it got initiated or it got impetus because globalization was foreseen and globalization was to anyways develop in due course of time and rest is history several kinds of market forces which are working on right now communication definitely we are talking about this consumer or customer behavior there are several elements which have in due course of time developed regarding consumer behavior you talk to any marketer or consumer himself or or you you talk to someone around you basically about the consumption related behavioral pattern for example now if if any one of you uh is uh married and have kids so you definitely would be finding this change very frequently and if you will talk to your elders who have watched you grow since quite quite a long time now and they will be definitely in a position to tell you about the changing patterns you are having in your consumption or or let's say choices and so on and how those choices have been influenced when you were in school what kind of influencers were there and when you grew up uh, how college life changed you and then there were you know preferences related to your choices in terms of products you would be using and even the career you would be choosing you see many of you in in your early days slightly before college would have been saying that i would like to become this or become that and i am not talking of consumer behavior here but but behavior at large and uh, you know your choices have been influenced by some communication that might be peer communication that might be you know kind of some influence through some narrative or or some advertisement you would have seen last time we talked about a tagline of indian navy for example that might have attracted you at uh, those days and now in due course of time some good large organization with lots of brand equity or lots of communication around and and we all know about apple google and so on they they might be attracting you to be a part of uh, their journey as such so you see changing behavior pattern but someone else would be able to uh, tell you this more emphasizingly how it has gone through we will talk about uh, relationship of integrated marketing communication and consumer behavior in due course of time there is a specific section in the subject as we all know then interactive environment dislocation of labor workforce i should say 
and, and uh, we have all seen you know and, and COVID-19 has taught us several lessons regarding this you know workforce migration, reverse migrations then then reverse to again back to you know uh, their own work uh, workplaces and so on and how this has uh, you know uh, so so this this uh, relocation or dislocation this definitely has affected uh, the communication as well and then there are capital flows fragmentation of traditional media first it it was consolidation there was a time when every television wanted to reach almost everyone universally and then every television wanted to reach specific people at specific part of time through specific fragmentation of programs or let us say relay systems or transmissions or whatsoever. Newspapers also did that. There was a copy wherein the local page was probably one or, or half of it and now there is a copy wherein local pages are very large in number and uh, uh, there you know you will, you will find sports page and then local sports page you will find a local news and then you will find a national news then you will find a regional news and, and uh, on the front cover you will find an advertisement of a product which is valid for larger population of this country and just inside that cover you will find an advertisement which is valid for some people kind of. So, and, and front page advertisements were not the call basically now you have two or three pseudo pages basically and then comes the front page. So, so everything is changing and then th that pseudo front page is different in different regions for the same newspaper as well. So, fragmentation definitely FM has created a huge fragmentation, huge fragmentation. You just you start driving and within 500 kilometers you will you know cross 3, 4 channels and, and uh, probably run by the same company and, and uh, addressing pinpointedly different kinds of customers and different kinds of people and communicating with them one to one through phone lines and you know uh, the, these radio people they are very interestingly trying to contact you in real time and then putting up things in front of you choosing subjects to be discussed and so on. Integration of networks definitely, definitely and, and uh, I would not uh, refrain myself uh, you know while talking about integration of networks which have uh, got a huge impetus. I, I am not sure about the statistics at this moment which is easy, easily available on uh, sites like Statista and uh, those, those uh, things, but you would realize that networks or intensity of networks has increased during past 18 months or so. Talking about me, I would have talked to my students for more than I do not know 3, 4 hundred hours on uh, you know different platforms uh, Webex or uh, you know and then, then several meetings uh, Google meet or so you know kind of several kinds of platforms yes MS teams basically and, and uh, several platforms are there. So, so I would have spent 4, 5 hundred hours in past 18 months on that. And, and uh, if I if an individual is spending four five hundred hours, you multiply it with number of individuals, and you would realize that what kind of validity networks have. So so, and all of it is supported by continuous generation of data, and lots of intelligence is associated by uh, with with algorithms which have been developed in due course of time for analyzing that data, segregating that data. And that intelligence is usually termed as artificial intelligence, but when it is going to take the mainstream of uh, you know uh, the, when, when this word artificial would be removed from there and people would start calling it intelligence as such, I am not sure I am not the expert of the field, but, but I as a, as a uh, marketing scholar feel or a, or a normal person who is influenced by artificial intelligence feels that, that definitely it is coming very soon to us. Now we know and we have discussed this earlier as well that marketing communication is supposed to and tries to reach the customers wherever they are you see definitely and uh, this, this is very obvious and it is usual also. But many a times customer also tries to reach to the communication when the customer might be having something in mind, customer is searching for something, customer is searching for a movie for example. So, customer would go to a website and that website 
uh, might or, or that that uh, you know Google might take you to book my show uh, for for example and then, then it will tell you which city you belong to then it will prompt you and say, say that uh, give us your location and for obvious reasons you, you would uh, give your location and then, uh, then uh, it will show you that what kind of movies are being shown where and so on and you are continuously entering into it and on the, on the run basically that uh, algorithm that AI or intelligence is tracking your search basically so that next time when you are not seeking the movie they will come after you telling you that this movie is available last time you search for this kind of a movie that means you look for such kind of things basically and they have categorized you. So, and once you say no I just searched it for a while because of some reason because of someone and I do not uh, you know uh, I am not into these kind of movies. So, they will keep on tracking you you know by asking you what 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 else do you do you like. So, for example, do you like this for example, do you like this and then they will start profiling you and, and it is it is a uh, you know it is it is a process basically and then definitely there are several subjects being run uh, on, on this uh, platform as well wherein you will find the logic of how it is done. But, but again so, communication looking for customer, customer looking for communication and as I said marketing intelligence works for you here basically. So, but as I said most of the time communication is looking for the customers definitely because customers are not aware of many many things, customer might not be aware of that he actually would, would like this particular kind of a product or, or uh, you know is is there any uh, such kind of a product itself for example there are many uh, consumer products there are many food items for example there are many types of donuts you know you do definitely would be uh, liking donuts or, or uh, there are many kinds of new pizzas which are being introduced and there are many kinds of you know uh, subway is launching a different kind of a burger for example or or, or let's say foot long for uh, many things. So, so, you might not be knowing and that they might they, they would like to instigate that thought process in your mind oh yes, uh, yes let, let me try this ice creams are coming up and children they are looking forward to new tastes every, every time. So, you know here comes emergence of a new communication pattern which is related to you know the fact is that the basic criteria for an organization to search for you because you are their target and the basic criteria is that wherever you are you see the point which we are discussing here is that uh, how would they search for you wherever you are for example, but where are you where is their target they do not know where you are sitting actually ok they will try to identify your location. So, but again they before identifying your location they would track or they would like to get in touch with you through uh, your time being spent on something basically. You see what you are watching TV. So, if you are watching TV, so definitely what kind of a time you are spending on television. You are time and again you are looking at your mobile phone while watching TV. So, definitely they, they want to know that how many times you look at your mobile phone and so on. So, the kind of time you would spend on a particular kind of a device the kind of focus they would give to that particular kind of mode of communication and, and uh, then they would throw a message prominently to that mode. So, so it depends upon what kind of choices you are developing in due course of time and they would try to reach to those kind of choices we all very well understand this fact there was a time when hoardings were very prominent because people were reading newspapers on specific times and there were specific kinds of people who were reading newspapers you do not believe me you ask your grandparents for example. And then you know newspapers starting started becoming prominent and hoardings were given a complementary role. 
So, earlier it was reverse, you used to watch something on a holding, you, you might pause there because you are not rushing up in your car somewhere and there is not heavy traffic basically and then on a red signal there is a huge holding telling you something about you know for example a biscuit and you are you are attracted towards that painting and those were painted those days and it is not too long back it is I am talking of uh, you know mid 70s to even somewhere let us say mid 90s when, when television was becoming prominent. So, holdings you watch and then you reach some place your office students they reach their libraries and they saw a newspaper spread there and then that same advertisement in a different kind of a form in a smaller version was there and newspaper was playing a complementary role. But within no time newspaper became prominent and holdings became complementary. Suddenly television came and television was always there but television was for a very limited time that it you know the, the transmission was for a specific duration, but then came in cable TV and it changed almost everything. And along with that came in different kind of a software, software means tele serials or those kind of things basically. And you, you uh, remember the uh, soaps or serials which were so popular those days. There was uh, a serial called Hum Log on Doordarshan which was extremely popular and many people watched that, but that had a very specific time and then specific coverage was given by specific kind of sponsors there. But after that when cable came in, so popular serials like Ramayan which has recently been you know relayed once again because of its popularity. So, so that serial got attention and then suddenly television took a strong stage or a larger stage and then newspaper was you know the people started looking at newspaper with complementarity kind of and slowly internet started coming in no one knew that internet would become the largest mode of marketing communication wherein rest would become complementary and then people would be watching advertisements much before there are very specific messages which are not released on television and newspapers at all and those effective beautiful advertisements people watch on internet only and many times it has graduated to further a further step wherein uh, you would say that I have watched this advertisement which was specifically sent to me and then there is another person besides you who has been sent an advertisement very specifically that does not mean that they are making different kinds of advertisements for every individual, but they are categorizing people on the basis of their choices and sending them very specific category of advertisements for the same product and same same kind of a brand basically. So, you see that is that is what we are we are referring to when you say that for example, you know you are watching a game news program on TV mobile. Now, now uh, again it is very very interesting you know if you look at this trend uh, at this with trend perspective you are watching or you can watch the same program or same thing on several kinds of modes. So, you can use your mobile phone, you can use streaming on the television through your mobile phone, you can go for internet TV as well, then you can use cable TV as well, then you can use you know several kinds of modes of transmission. So, you are watching television or let us say internet TV or let us say mobile or in cases of uh, games and so on specifically or let us say live shows you are personally there. For example, you are you are watching a some standing comedy show and so on. So, you are personally there and COVID-19 situation has definitely enabled several kinds of modes with prominence. So, you see at that particular moment they are trying to individually focus upon you with different kinds of elements how are they looking into your choices that is again you know a matter of intelligence and I would not divulge too much into that. But, but as a consumer try and track your habits and you will get to know immediately how they are actually dwelling into that. For example, just just look at the pattern which you are following in terms of programs you are choosing to watch and in the meanwhile try and pause at some messages or let us say try and discuss some messages with someone you are you are you are what you know uh, watching those programs with 
and then you would realize that AI is actually enabling those messages whenever you are watching those kind of programs which are repeatedly thrown at you. So, so that is how the whole system is working, it is completely integrated, it is completely associated, it, it, they, they use this word called sync basically, you know, it has synced with every, everything basically, everything is synced with everything. So, they, they will keep on asking you, do you want to sync this with something, sync this with something and, and you, you keep on saying yes, yes, why not, why not, I want to sync my mobile with my television or my, my you know uh, computer or my laptop and, and you do not know what does that where it would end basically and, and it keeps on doing that and suddenly you know everything around you has been uh, you know seen by the marketer with a universal kind of uh, uh, you know streaming possibility. So, uh, you are communicating you are communicating with someone and they know how do we uh, you know uh, how how do uh, how do they know this actually uh, i don't think that uh, you know we should be discussing the nitty gritties of the electronic devices or or let's say how networks work but i have you know uh, i remember that i was attending a seminar by a very learned person long back i would not name him here uh, on this platform and he explained on that how devices while being used work on understanding the person actually and then so you know um, you can experiment this you keep your mobile your uh, by your bedside and talk to someone or talk to yourself or talk to your mobile and then you will realize that whatever you are thinking the similar kinds of messages are being thrown at you time and again. So, the basic criteria for customer employee, prospective employee or prospective customer or beneficiary to search for is wherever the marketer is. Now, I am coming to the second side wherein first we focused on how marketer looks at you and now we look at this picture where how or, or let us say uh, when when customer is looking for the marketer. So, customer what he does is or, or let us say prospective employee what he does is they look for keywords actually you know you put up something to search for kind of you are you are looking for let us say curtains just just a si simple example you have just visited a website or even if you do not go to a website basically you are looking at curtains. Then they would either ask you a next question or let us say they would start you know putting up choices in front of you, so that they can categorize those choices as and when you move forward basically. And then there are references which you would use while while you know putting up that search further. There are filters which are very common part of our lives now, every website every you know place we go to through internet is has filters actually. And it is very interesting you know even if you are for example, you are watching Netflix uh, while streaming on your television through your mobile phone or let us say directly through internet television and you forget the name of a movie. Now, you do not have a clue that what kind of a movie I am looking for you have a vague idea of that I have seen that clipping somewhere. Now, you start searching it either with the name of the actor. So, it will start throwing you names and it will start synchronizing and categorizing your, your past choices as well as your present search and then your you know uh, keywords and believe me within few minutes it will take you there. Somewhere without remembering the name of that movie you will reach what you were looking for. So, then physical searches also basically you are looking at specific clues as far as your search goes. So, the, the element what we are talking about here is that you have a want and a desire and here you are, wherein you throw an idea towards the marketer, marketer follows that and marketer definitely is throwing an idea at you or words at you and then is trying to match things with how well he would be able to capitalize upon 
as far as your future choices go. So, I will end this session here, I will come back to you in the next session with further elements of how trends are emerging, how things are working for us. Thank you, goodbye for now.